Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in Yekaterinburg. Our company has a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year we modernized and started replacing the outdated and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 20 years and know very well all the technological processes in the company. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one on my own, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job. There is a lot of equipment on the market. Many processes have changed and become automated. In pharmaceutical production it is very important to control the quality of raw materials and finished drugs. In production, they check the moisture level, melting time, transparency, to ensure that the tablets fully complied with the requirements of hygiene, it was necessary to have a serious approach to the choice of equipment. Plans for modernization included the purchase of a blistering machine, which is used for automatic formation of cellular packaging from PVC roll material. The machine automatically fills the cells with tablets. After the cells are filled, the equipment seals the surface of the blisters with aluminum foil. The old machine was constantly being repaired, did not provide the necessary performance. The equipment had to be modern and of high quality. Since I had already chosen many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in the selection and remained the contacts of some reliable manufacturers of equipment. I began by telephone contacting the manufacturers and clarify whether they can produce a blister machine as the main criteria I specified automatic control, quality stainless steel material of the equipment, the capacity of 3000 blisters per hour. I first approached a company from Germany which offered me automatic equipment for packaging pills into aluminum blisters, but they specified that the entire process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment, is not included in the price. Delivery could have been delayed and I declined, then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not make this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture a blister machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait, since I could not find a manufacturer of automatic equipment for packaging tablets and capsules into PVC blisters. I decided to go another way and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another machine option. I searched on the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience delivering equipment from a Chinese intermediary when a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line, we consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online, I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All companies I phoned to make sure of the professionalism of managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. After five days I got an email from them 10 options for various blister machines and an offer to make a choice on their own. I realized that they have no professional approach and I will not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third intermediary option turned out to be a good one for me. The mail manager talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired productivity of the machine, told me about the terms of delivery. He suggested an automatic machine for packing tablets and capsules into PVC blisters, which I could quickly negotiate with the company management. The machine was acceptable in terms of performance and price. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. The specialist asked to send aluminum foil, PVC film for the formation of the blister, and the tablets themselves to test the equipment. The manager informed us about the degree of readiness of the machine two weeks before delivery. He sent a video demonstrating our machine, the working area of the equipment is covered with plastic shields, a roll of blue aluminum foil is installed at the top of the working area, a roll of PVC film at the bottom. 30 days after signing the contract, we received the automatic equipment for packaging tablets and capsules into PVC blisters. The manager provided the manufacturer's warranty, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operating instructions. We made installation of the machine. The equipment design provides for a system of working with PVC and aluminum foil packaging materials. The machine has a system of pulling materials when heated PVC ribbon forming cells, then through the hopper with a distribution system pills or gelatin capsules fall into the cells. Aluminum foil covers the PVC and is welded on by heat. In the future, I plan to contact the manager of this company to purchase the analytical equipment that needs to be purchased to produce the drug in gelatin capsules. 
I am sure that he will find me a quality equipment. Experience has shown that no matter how confident you are in your abilities, consulting a specialist will speed up the solution of the task at hand and free up time, which can be spent to your advantage.